What's up guys, my name is Creative Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to do motion tiles in Vegas Pro. Now guys, before this video starts, I just want to tell you that you will need Sapphire plugin. So I will leave a link in the description on how to get the Sapphire plugin for free on Sony Vegas. So what you're going to want to do is open up Sony Vegas and open up your, I don't know what we're going to be doing. But today I'm going to be doing it with an intro, so I don't know what you'll be doing it with. So here we go, this is what the intro will look like. Okay guys, so open up your render, as you can see there I have, I have Baller Games is uh, just this render that I did in After Effects and Cinema 4D. So what I do to make intros is I do the background on After Effects, I do the text in Cinema 4D, and then I do all the effects in Sony Vegas. So what you're going to want to do to make this simple effect is just make uh, three different splits, so do 10 frames, split, do 10 frames, split, do 10 frames, split, so you've got three different splittings. So as you can see there we've got three different split and you will want to go to video effects and find S warp perspective. Now guys this takes five seconds to do motion tiling and without these effects it will probably take you about 10 minutes just to do. So S warp perspective, there we go, drag the default, I've already got some presets. Drag the default onto the first tile, and as you can see it's all slanted. So what you're going to want to do is change the latitude all the way up to zero. And once you've done that, as you can see, now you have six motion tiles. Now move along to the next one, do exactly the same thing, but this time drag the Z distance all the way up. Not all the way up, but just like a middle way up, so we've got more and more tiles showing. Once you've done that, go to the third one and change it back to six, so it goes up and then down again. And if you drag the tele lens width, as you can see, it makes hundreds and hundreds of tiles. But you can do that with your intro. I did that with this particular intro, but this is just for a tutorial purpose. So once you've done that, guys, as you can see, you've got some awesome motion tiles that go in and then out again. So if you did like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for some of the latest graphics content. And I'll be helping you. I'll be giving you templates and stuff like that. So yeah, hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next video.